Here and there, I've gotten to know a few late night spots in Brooklyn. You know, just keeping tab on my borough, you know. My research <laughs> led me to Grand Street between Morgan and Vandervoort to a new place called Sunnyvale. And I wanted to share my discovery with our BK Live viewers. Now, the fact that they're here making us a cocktail has nothing to do with it. Not at all. It's <laughs> purely journalistic. Well, as we said, the drink is called a short story. And all I'm going to reveal right now is that a short story is made with dorky dorky. No drink, <laughs> Somebody's been no drink yet. But it is made with Dorothy Parker Gin, yeah. which means it's the perfect name since Dorothy once said, I'm not a drinker. I'm not a writer with a drinking problem. No. I'm a drinker with a writing problem. True story. Way to kill a quote, kid. Well, <laughs> to tell us what else goes into it, we want to welcome one of the Sunnyvale partners and the manager of the bar, who is Mr. John Connor Brook. What's going on? Hi. Welcome to BK Live. Sorry, Thank you. Dorothy. So, yeah. you know, everybody, not everybody, but so many people move to New York and sort of dream of one day opening some type of venue or, or bar with, you know, their friends, but not everybody actually goes out and does it. How hard was it for you and your partners to make this happen? How hard was it? Is it? <laughs> It's over now. We're having a drink. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's, no it's only just beginning, man. Um, no, it's it's pretty difficult, um, but it's you know one of those passion project things that you just fight for no matter what. And it's long days, long nights, early mornings, um, and yeah, it's just you just fight for it because that's what you wanted to do. Like I'm very stubborn and I refuse to fail, and the place is beautiful, and I have full faith that. Um, Soon enough, it will be one of the most well-known music venues in New York City, thereby being one of the most well-known in the world. Um, so, so it's worth the fight, So in addition to drinks like the short story, there's music there. Yeah, uh, we are a music venue. Um, we're actually one of the venues for the Northside Fests this weekend. We've got the Giraffes. I don't know if you're familiar with them. They're an amazing rock band playing on Saturday. We've got the Le Poisson Rouge. Uh, series on Sunday. We also do uh, comedy nights. Uh, there's this gentleman, Harris Meyerson, who is hysterical. He's a writer for Stephen Colbert on The Late Show, and um, he does a monthly. And this Thursday is his monthly. So you guys should come check it out. Uh, we've had some amazing people from Comedy Central. Roy Wood Jr. Uh, has been on there, like just all these up and coming guys. There's this dude, Drew Michaels, that I'm obsessed with. Uh, who's on? Who's been on that bill twice? Yeah, and, I mean, for um, a place that's opened up, you guys seem to be having a lot of success. You've had some great write-ups, as I as I read and that you've shared with us. I'm looking at all the different pictures from the from the website. You know, so many places sort of open. They think they're going to open with a bang, but they sort of open with a whimper and they sort mm -hmm. of limp along. What do you attribute uh, your you know success to so far? Right place, right time. I don't know. Hard work ethic, a great space, uh, an incredible sound system, um, a great crew. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, it was. We were all stunned when um, New York Mag wrote us up as the number one thing to do. Like our grand opening, we beat Wilco. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'll uh, we were the number one boy, thing that's to saying do. Something. Um, so you must have but, some good drinks then. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, uh, you guys look thirsty, so I kind of want to. We came thirsty. We, we did. We did. And I don't so, want this ice to melt under these lights. Real I quick. don't want to melt under Hook the lights either. Uh, you can tell us well, first what uh, goes into this drink. Sure. Uh, well, it's a Dorothy Parker gin, which, you know, Brooklyn boys. This the is Dorney, a. Dorney? Dorney? Dorothy. Dorothy. Yeah, Dorky Parker? There he goes. Um, Just make the drink. Yeah, it's, man. Fr <laughs> it's from uh, the New York distillery, which is based out of Brooklyn. Um, it's very floral. I don't know if you're familiar with Hendrix gin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but this is way better, but it's similar. So people that exactly. don't know about it, um, that's how I compare it. So wait, this is local? Like they make it in New York, so yeah. you don't even have to it's, buy that Hendrix stuff. You can support local and get a quality gin from BK. Yeah. Nice. Exactly. From New York. So um, get yourself some lime juice. Got some cucumber infused simple syrup. And then you don't want to shake it up too much. You just want to give it a little, little massage. And then 
God, that was poor. a little massage. Just some a little yeah. bit. Some I like to be gentle with Dorothy, man. Are very aggressive. Oh, no. She Dorothy all <laughs> kinds of ways. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I do have cocktails that you have to like. Sh I, I can't swear. Um, shake the. Shake the cocktail shake the out of them. Yeah, there you go. With the, maybe that's the Navy <laughs> Street gin. You gotta shake the Navy and then, Street gin. Yeah, then you top this off with some soda. And this is a perfect, perfect, perfect summer drink. And uh, you're about to find out for yourself. So, gentlemen. I like your tear short, there. I've short never story. Seen the short story. I'm gonna make one for myself. Yeah, now. make one for yourself. Tell us uh, where the name Sunnyvale came from. Uh, we. <laughs> Had no exaggeration about a two and a half hour uh, meeting argument about what to name the place because uh, it used to be called Delinquency. It was a um, DIY venue that got shut down that we acquired, and um, so we couldn't stick with the name Delinquency because the community board wouldn't let us. No. And um, so, like I said, two and a half hour argument conversation. <laughs> about what to come up with. I wanted to call it Akasha's or bankruptcy or something to that effect. Um, and then finally, uh, one of our partners just goes, Sunnyvale! And we were like, yeah, because we're all fans of Trailer Park Boys. And that's the name of the trailer park that they live in. And um, it kind of followed the the sentiment of like being delinquents, you know, but like without, but with a little tongue in cheek, without anyone really knowing why. You have to know. So to if know. you if you know, you know, and it totally yeah. applies. But if you don't know, it's subtle and it's a beautiful name. Yeah, and we're right underneath that smokestack, and I brought you a little present. Oh, there but, you yeah. go, Sunnyvale. It was made by Eddie O'Dowd of Psychic TV. Very cool. But yeah, I'm sorry I didn't bring one for you. <laughs> I got a drink. I'm fine. I have all the t-shirts. Okay, wants. I'm so gonna finish short drink. story. Short story. Salut, Ooh, brother. Salut, Eyes. Mm -hmm. So how many partners are there? Um, there are six active partners. Um, and then there's a few silent partners. That's really good. That's good, right? That's great. I'll That's be a like silent a great partner summer, after summer a few more of these. Yeah. A silent hit I also brought you guys uh, the Marge is Burning, which is in the back. Uh, made with this wonderful hot sauce. Oh, that's the burners you were telling me about. Yeah, yeah, this is made by this guy, Jeff Burner, who uh, isn't a partner, but he is a friend of the family. And it's his homemade hot sauce that we throw into our margaritas, and it, uh, it's really, really good. And it, like, he just got back from tour, thank God, and that small bottle was all he had left because we went through everything he gave us um, because people just loved it. So what's the most popular drink on the list over there at Sunnyvale? I'm not kidding, man. It's so inconsistent because our mm. nights are so, like, varietal. Can you tell the difference? Like, the comedy people drink this, the giraffe crowd drinks this, the Poisson Rouge people want this. Is sometimes, like, yeah. sometimes. But it's it's one of those weird things where, like, sometimes people, like, just see someone drinking something. Like, what's that? I'll take one of those. Yeah, like, yeah. we have another drink called I Am The Liquor, which a lot of people are scared to drink. <laughs> I was scared. Uh, yeah. I was, I was, I was scared. I Am The Liquor. Yeah. Which yeah, is where does that come from? Um, that is a quote from uh, uh, Trailer Park Boys, where <laughs> one of the uh, the trailer park owner is a raging alcoholic, and his partner is concerned about him. And he's like, uh, "Mr. Lay, is this you talking, or is this the liquor?" And he just looks at him very sincerely and says, mm, "Randy, I am the liquor." I am the liquor. And we we're like, "We got to make a cocktail called I am the liquor," and so we did. And it's like a tra a very trashy drink. Uh, made with orange soda and whiskey and 151. And oh. A 151 floater. That sounds yeah. like the liquor cabinet drink you made when your parents were out. You just it's put but it's in delicious, it. though, yeah. and people drink it, and it's dangerous. Like. Now, we are running out of time, but I do oh. want to add that, you know, every time I've been to your place, when I look on the website, you guys are booked. You mm -hmm. are staying booked. How are you able to collaborate uh, with some of the larger Brooklyn venues and not view them as competition? We actually tried to set up a nice thing to where, because our, our venue is like so specific, there's venues around us that are smaller, that if we have a show that's too small for us, we send it to them. There's venues around us that are bigger, and if they have a show that's too small for them, they send it to us. Because nice. so we're trying to create like a collaborative environment around there, because there's three or four other venues like in a uh, close radius. But we're not trying to create a sense of competition, like we will win, it's like, no, we all are in this together. Right. Like, let's do this together, and that's the only way we're all gonna succeed, so. That's, yeah, we just 
kind of just a little handshake and like, let's do this, you know? Because we all know how difficult it is, man. It's yeah. It's not an easy task. That rising tide will lift every boat. I'm just gonna yeah, keep yeah. drinking this right here. It's delicious. Okay, <laughs> while he finishes his drink, tell us how we can find ourselves at Sunnyvale enjoying some short stories, mister. <laughs> Our website is sunnyvalebk.com. Our, Which just went live today. It, yes. yes, well, I haven't checked yet. I, I did, I, we're live. Okay, good, thank God. <laughs> it's live. <laughs> um, how apropos. Um, and then we've got a Twitter account, which is also Sunnyvale BK. Our Instagram is okay, Sunnyvale OK. Um, our Facebook always has our events and um, connected to how to buy tickets. Cool. And... And it's a great place. Yeah, it's beautiful. And you man. might see Aaron there, which is a bonus. <laughs> you see him telling the value of a drink. Am the liquor. Drink's on him. I am the He's liquor. He's the liquor. <laughs> <laughs> we want to wish good. you Josh. and all of your partners all the success. And Thanks, thank you for joining us today. My pleasure. Providing us these delicious cocktails. I'm glad you like them. So <laughs> yeah.